there. Start from 17 once again. This is going to be a balls deep of a indie made shmup by the name of Battle Traverse. So this is available right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can get it digitally on PC. I don't quite remember the pricing, but if you're into shmups, you're probably already going to try and buy it, because it is well worth your attention. It is made by a small team, and uh, I'm going to show you the start of the game here, and I'm going to put it on the normal difficulty, and then I'm going to show you the difficulty that it goes to later on, to give you a full idea of, of what you're facing. So. It has a decent amount of options for an indie shmup. It is translated and it has a very, very high production value when it comes to its sprites. Some of the sprites in this game look absolutely superb. So if you come over here, you can go between easy all the way down to extreme and the difficulty increments jump up quite considerably. So there's something here for a player of any level. Uh, as I mentioned, we'll start on normal. The game recommends starting on hard and uh, that's something that you can always do. You can have your replays saved, you can show your hitboxes, you can have the music and the configs and everything that you need along those lines. And then coming out of this menu, you can see your rankings, you can go into practice mode. I'll quickly show off the practice mode before we jump into the arcade mode. Because practice mode is where a lot of players are going to spend a lot of their time if you're wanting to get good at the game and improve and get those one credit clears or those high scores or whatever you're trying to do. And as you can see, you can select the stage, you can select the stage boss, and coming down here, there are some tutorials to help people when it comes to understanding the score system, the basic operations, and then what Extreme does. And then this here is, I don't exactly know what that is. I've not clicked on that one before. It could be a video of somebody playing through the whole game to give you some advice. There's the config, and uh, there's lots of options. Now, I'm sad to say that I haven't had the chance to really, really delve into this game. Because when it comes to shmups, guys, when it comes to learning shmups, particularly if you're going for clears, you, you have to commit. If you don't commit to one, you'll end up playing a bunch of them, and you'll probably never improve. You'll continuously kind of be low level, like I've been most of my life. Uh, so I haven't put that much time into this game, but I am looking forward to doing so when I get the opportunity. Uh, and I'll say right away, guys, this is actually a horizontal shmup, so you're going to be moving from left to right instead of towards the roof of the screen. And it does change things, it does make things different. So let's jump into it, shall we? Arcade mode. There's the information there, we're on normal, the first extend is 5 million, the second extend is 14 million, and I don't know if there's any more after that. And then it says press a button to begin. So let's do this. So the music on this game is going to be one of the core features that keeps people playing because shmups like their music. You can either be Albert here with his M60, you can be Lily with her strange space guns and lack of clothing, or you can be uh, the guy called Tamor, this guy who really reminds me of Hero Yui from Gundam Wing. Uh, we're gonna play as this dude, as you can see he has narrow shot, she has like medium shot, and he has wide shot. So they're all the stereotypes of shmups if you know them. We'll hop in with this guy, and, and here we go. So the first thing you'll notice is that your character sprite is, is like comedically sized. But incredibly detailed. See that? That has to be a Gundam Wing reference, right? That is the Wing Zero right there. So there's a chance this might be hard, guys, because I just had to start the game again due to difficulties with capturing, but what can you do? No, it's on normal. It's saved. Thank God. But here we go. We've got the Gundam Wing, double busters, and it begins. So you have your standard shot of a focused shot taking out the standard troops. You can tap it, you can hold it. And then you have the focus where you slow down for added mobility and you get your extra damage and you get your homing shots as well. And we've got some crazy ships right here that we're shooting and destroying parts of. Standard shmup fair. I'm not going to talk too much about scoring because I don't honestly understand it at the moment. I think it's a combination of like Ketsui and maybe something else, maybe a bit of pro gear. But once again, there's no point me talking about it because I just don't understand it. And then we've got our first sub-boss of the game right here. A combination of blue and yellow bullets and I'm just completely losing my guy because I haven't played a horizontal shmup in a long time since Akai Katana on the 360 and I find it very easy to just kind of forget where I am and lose track of myself. It's kind of a laziness as well. Because like anything else guys, the controls in this are superb, the visuals are very clear, the backgrounds are just the right amount of detail to give you something to look at that's not boring, but also to 
to enable you to dodge just what you're going to have to dodge because this is on normal and it looks really tame because it is. You can pretty much kill a lot of these before they get on the screen. And uh, if you're wanting to score, you don't want to do that. You want to kill them in the right way and use the right shot and everything. But because we're noobs and we're just showing this off to to get a bit more exposure for this game because it's very underrated. And I've had it for a while and I've been meaning to make this and it'll probably be delayed when you get it. But look how detailed this boss looks. It's a huge sprite image with all these animations that are happening. All these little subtle like pieces of flair that it has. And it's bombarding me with purple, I say purple, with pink bullets and blue streams. And we're destroying parts of it, which you can probably get a nice bonus for doing, but I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to shoot the shit out of it, right? And look how big it is, it takes up the whole screen. Shit's crazy, right? Pretty tame so far, I can see some safe spots I could probably have some fun with here. But you don't want it to be too crazy on its normal difficulty, unless... You know, it only has one difficulty, and then you want it to be a little more crazy. Uh, some of the patterns in this game, though, guys, they're superb. The way they work, the way they kind of... Like, I've credit-fed my way through the game to experience it and see what it's all about, and there's a lot of really cool creativity on the patterns. And it's it's kind of half the game, isn't it? The beauty of the patterns, how fun they are to dodge, how how you learn to read them and you develop the skills to understand them and, and what have you. We'll play a little bit into stage 2, but not too far if I can handle it. And it shouldn't be too bad. Stage 2 is generally another stage that's quite free. It's stage 3 where you want to get scared, but... I don't actually know how many stages this game has. It could have an extra stage. It could be a little bit lengthier. Once again, I'm not looking at my hitbox. And I'm almost drifting into bullets. You get so cocky, you know, when you're used to playing shmups. Like, I know where I am, I've got an idea of where I am, I just have to glance over every so often to make sure I'm safe, and the next thing you know, you run into a bullet because you're not used to the movement speed, or you're not even used to the game. It happens, it's so easy to do it. Especially those guys, when I'm getting close to them and they're still firing. In a lot of games like this, when you get close to an enemy, they will actually stop shooting and give you almost a grace period. And then if you're good enough to get to this, the extra loops, they take that away, and those enemies, just regardless, are an asshole. But this is very tame compared to what you're going to see after this, because we're going to do extreme. But still fun, you know. It's not easy. I'm still having to keep focused and understand what's going on as we take out the sub-boss. Probably go as far as about the, the second boss. And now we're going to start scrolling upwards in a vertical state. Get that power up. The stages, if you were to critique this game, I think the backgrounds are a little bit basic. But I think that's just because the the detail on the enemies is so strong that they wanted a, a, a nice contrast. I would have liked a bit more flair there, but considering, you know, the team that made it and their expertise and everything, you know, you can't be too harsh. I think they've done a superb job. I love the visuals in this game. Like, I'd rather play this game than a lot of, a lot of shmups with certain visuals. Like, I saw the most recent, uh, was it R-Type that they're releasing? And it's 3D, and it just looks quite, you know... It's got the psychedelic neon lights, which is a cool aesthetic when done correctly, but compared to something like this with the sprites and the charm and the wonderful explosions, you know. If you give me a choice between Horizon Zero Dawn and Metal Slug, I'm going to pick Metal Slug every time, because to me it's just... That's what I love. I love I love the character and the artistry of that. Like, you know some dude did not want to animate every every single frame of that and still did it because... You know, it's worth it in the end. And not to denigrate the ability that goes into, you know, a lot of modern games. They look amazing. They're all animated as well, and it takes a hell of a lot of love and time and money. But something like this just, oh, I love it. And you can see all the stars popping up as I'm completely fucking up the scoring system because I don't know what I'm doing. There's our bomb. Let's take this fella on. Second boss time. The bosses in this really step up, I found, when I was playing. So it starts off pretty, pretty nominal. Most people will be able to put in minimal time and get maximum reward, and then it it definitely... Whoop! I nearly died then, because I lost track of my guy. But it definitely picks up, you know? And especially if you're not used to horizontal games. Some people don't like horizontal games. Uh, I must admit, I do prefer vertical. But I've played some, some Death Smiles, you know? I've played some Progre. I've played Akai Katana. Whoa! I'm going to make some funny noises when I dodge bullets in this game, because it's just who I am as a human being. 
Sometimes it gives me power, you know. But you can see it's it's challenging without being completely un overwhelming. Later on, this is going to get way worse. Even on normal, you're going to have to really earn it because that's what these games are, guys. They are a pocket of skill. It is a condensed 20-minute skill experience. If you're looking for narrative and slow walking, you're not going to find it. And one thing you notice too in this game outside of Extreme, there's not a lot of slowdown when there's lots of bullets on the screen. So they really expect you to, to dodge. <laughs> or know what you're doing at least. But I don't want to show too much of the game because I don't want to spoil it. So I'm going to back out there. I think this might have six stages. Yeah, that could be incorrect though, guys. But just know it's average shmup length. Which to some people, they don't even think they're real games. They don't think they're worth the money. They don't understand why people play them. They're like novelty games for children or some kind of strange like phone game. When in reality, these games were there before many of these genres you've come to love. These were the origin of score hunting, the origin of, you know, just complete skillful mastery of something that took a lot of dedication. And if it weren't for games like this, we probably wouldn't have the games that you like so much now. There's a lot of the DNA that came from this genre that is alive and well today. And unfortunately, not a lot of people see it that way. They just think it's this kind of boring novelty game that only, like, Japanese play or something. But anyhow, guys, let's jump into Arcade on Extreme. Let's showcase this. I'm only going to do the first stage on this one, guys, because this is going to be... I'm probably not going to survive. Because <laughs> it, it gets... This is... This, this difficulty has suicide bullets, and they just completely bombard the screen. It looks hilarious. I actually cred my way... I credit-fed my way through this. Like, look at the scores there for the extends. A hundred million to get an extend. Like, you need to know what you're doing. Because if you don't, it's just... Like, do you see those suicide bullets that's turning up? That's because I'm not killing things correctly. Like, look at this. But you see the slow-mo, too? I love the slow-mo. The slow-mo's sick as fuck. And then you need to use your, your gun to, to cancel the, the purple bullets and shit. But, like, look at this. This is what I love about Bullet Hell. Like, if you were to ask me, you know, why do you play these games, Chris? I don't get it. It's this. It's when shit hits the fan and you're expected to deal with it. Like, that to me quintessential the beauty of, of everything that this is and I love the slowdown the slowdown superb oh my gosh here we go here we go look at this look how cool this looks oh my gosh what's going on look at this like what the fuck do I do ah! <laughs> it's crazy right it's cool as shit though it's so cool this is a sub-boss, and he's already, like, nearly murdering me. Viciously. And the music is superb. The music's really nice. It gets gets the blood going. Hang on, hang on. Ow! Oh, there it was. So, two more lives. Ooh, is that full power? Give me that. And, of course, you can bomb if you need to. There's your bomb. It's your screen clear. It's your safety net. It will not auto-bomb for you, though, guys, on this game, I don't believe. So, you have to... You have to play. You know, there's... There's none of that modern shit trying to save you. Uh, it probably has it somewhere, maybe, but not on this this version, anyway. Hang on. Whew! Jesus, look how cool this is! Like, I, oh my god, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm very confused. <laughs> and and people have beat this. So you might look at this and think, well, no one can do this. This is, this is silly. Why does this exist? Oh, I just bombed then as well, and I got the screen clear. That was dumb. And now we got to the boss, guys. It can't get much worse, right? Oh, it can. This is the first level. The first level is the easiest level, usually, unless it's, like, mushy Futari. So here we go. Stage one boss. Oh! <laughs> the panic bomb. Right, we've got this, right? This should be easy. Should be nothing out of our wheelhouse, this one. I'm going to come down here and, and hope. Wow. That's dense. That's real dense. It's not the easiest thing to read as well. Here we go, here we go. Oh! Oh! Dude, I'm not used to the character movement at all. Ah! That's the problem, you know, when you're not used to the ship? I can do crazy things when I'm used to the ship, but when I'm not used to the ship... Oh, get wrecked. But I think that's the beautiful way to showcase the game and to wrap it up. This is Battle Traverse. It's available right now. 
I think that this is a superb shmup at a time when there really aren't that many shmups being made that tickle my particular flavour. This game has a whole bunch of stages, a whole bunch of difficulties, it's got the multiple characters, and it also has a, a true secret boss as well, a true last boss. So if you're good enough to get to the end and, and do whatever the criteria is, you can fight something that will be probably harder than anything you've ever done in your entire life combined. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Battle Traverse, an awesome horizontal shmup with lots of love towards Cave. If you're a Cave guy, this is your game. Thank you for watching, you take care now.